as you see Dennis Rodman, I mean, what, as someone who's had this personal experience there, what do you, what do you think, particular, really, what he said about Kenneth Bay, a man who's being held there now? I mean, look, he's he's a wacko, he's a nut, but I don't think that anyone um, expects him to be this ambassador or to produce this diplomatic breakthrough. At least we shouldn't. I mean, that's well, that would be pretty scary if Dennis Rodman was our diplomatic envoy. Um, I was. It's like this bizarre reality show, you know, the celebrity and the dictator. I was very disappointed to hear his comments about Kenneth Bay because clearly they were so in incomprehensible. He didn't know what he was talking about. Um, and that's really unfortunate. But, you know, with these basketball players being there under this so-called goodwill mission, you know, I would hope that the North Koreans could uh, release Kenneth Bay as a compassionate humanitarian gesture in turn. Wouldn't that be great? Well, I think we can all agree that Dennis Rodman is not the an is the wrong answer. What's the right answer? What, what can the United States do to try to get Kenneth Bay back? Well, I think that, you know, part of our attention has been so focused on Dennis Rodman, and what's unfortunate is that, you know, our, our attention should be focused on the condition of the North Korean people and, um, and the humanitarian crisis that they've been living in for decades. And with regard to Kenneth Bay, it's a complicated situation, and it's so, you know, mired in politics, unfortunately, that it's, you know, it's, it really is going to, the, the, there's just no telling what it's going to take. But like I said, the North Koreans have the ability to release him as a humanitarian gesture. They've done it in the past, and what, hopefully that, that is something that will happen soon. What was it like, I mean, being detained and being held captive for, for so long in North Korea? I mean, on a day-to-day -day basis, how much, you know, contact did you have with, with it, what was going on, with any efforts being made to, to get you out? I, I mean, I had no contact with anyone from the outside world except um, a few visits with the Swedish ambassador. Um, I did know what was going on to some extent from letters that I was allowed to receive. Um, and as it was the most terrifying time of my life, but there were also glimmers of compassion and humanity exhibited towards me from some of my captors. And I think that a similar connection was felt by them. There's a deep curiosity about the West. And, you know, I was allowed to watch television. Everything, almost everything on television, it seems, uh, is like this anti-US rhetoric and it paints the United States as the enemy. Um, and so for speaking about, you know, this basketball diplomacy, you know, for this um, so-called cultural exchange to happen, perhaps it can introduce the North Koreans to a more positive side um, and, and perhaps yield something fruitful. I mean, mm. you know, well, that's, that's what I can hope yeah. because this, this, this exchange is going to happen.